Venomous lionfish is absolutely delicious. What's up, y'all? I'm Reed the Fishmonger, and today I'm gonna teach y'all how to scale, fillet, and butterfly the invasive lionfish. Even though lionfish are venomous, they're 100% safe to eat. Their venom is in their dorsal fin barbs. And they've got another one, or three, right there on their anal barbs. And one on each of these pelvic fins. It, this is pretty cool, you guys wanna check this out. The skin on this spike, when you slide down, that shows the barb itself. So the venom is produced on the outside of this barb, so when it pokes you, the skin slides down and the residue is around the barb and that's how it envenomates you. So it makes the puncture, skin slides down, and then the venom around the barb goes into your blood. Now, the venom on lionfish is a neurotoxin. It is pretty gnarly, does not feel good at all. I've been envenomated and it felt like my entire arm was on fire. We're gonna pick up that pectoral fin, get a good grip on our lionfish, and hose those scales right off. Such an easy fish to scale. Flip it around, pick up that fin. Now, these spikes, once a lionfish is dead, it stops producing its venom. There can still be residue there, and it will still hurt, but the envenomation is not gonna be nearly as gnarly as a live lionfish poking you unless it just died. These were killed yesterday, they've been buried in ice, and they're ready to go in for surgery. Before butterflying your fish, you always want to remove the gills. Make a snip right there underneath the throat, get your finger underneath all of them at the same time, and we're pulling from here, not here. That way you can get everything out in one clean swoop, and now he's ready to be butterflied. All right, the first lionfish, we're gonna butterfly. Now when it comes to butterflying your fish, you can either come from the stomach to the top, leaving the top connected, or you can leave the bottom connected if your fish wasn't already gutted. This fish was not gutted yet, so we're gonna come from the top, which is a more traditional butterfly. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna snip off all of its pokey fins. These fins come off super easily. Just running along with some good scissors. My scissors are from Dry Age Fish Guy. They're wonderful for cleaning fish. They just snip right off. We're gonna leave these pretty fins on for presentation, but we're gonna just take off everything that could poke you. Look at this guy's sweet stash. He looks like he's gonna like tell me a story about back in the day and I'm gonna have to listen to it for some good advice. All right, now that he's got his hair cut and he's looking nice and handsome, we're gonna take our knife, we're gonna make a slight incision and we're going to run it right along that spine. Once your knife is on the skeleton of the fish, you can just let the skeleton guide your knife. Once you're to the center spine, gentle incision to go to the top. Tip of the knife, base of the ribs, angle it slightly up, and separate the connection the pin bones make to the ribs. Now you can hit the second side. We want to go over those ribs very gently. Lionfish ribs are super easy to cut through. And if we go over them, instead of cutting through them, we can just take everything out all at once and it'll look beautiful. Look at that. We're gonna flip it around. Nice, gentle incision, resting our knife right on top of that skeleton so we don't lose out on any of that delicious lionfish meat. Tip of the knife, go all the way down. Let's separate the connection that pin bones make to the ribs very carefully. Now we're going to run down those ribs without cutting through them so that way we can remove everything all at once. All right, there we go. And we still got the guts intact on there. Because we didn't cut through the ribs, it's not staining any of the meat. Now we're gonna take our scissors Make a snip right there, go to the bottom. Now we're just going to, once you're to where the ribs are, it's all floating. Put a little bit of weight on the head, grab the skeleton, and rip that out. Look at that. All the rib bones are out, 
no meat loss in that skeleton, that's a thing of beauty right there. Now often when I'm butterflying and I go over the ribs, all the guts come out. This time they didn't, so I'm gonna carefully remove them to not stain the meat. Now there's your pretty butterfly lionfish. All the rib bones are out. You do still have some pin bones in there. You can yank out with pliers if you want. But me personally, that's what I'm sticking with. It's a thing of beauty. Makes a great presentation. Loads of meat in there. Well, a little bit of meat in there. But what little meat is there is delicious and you should try it. Filleting lionfish, go behind the head at an angle. Tip of the knife right at that opening. Slide all the way down. Rest our knife right on that skeleton. Tip of the knife base of the ribs, separate the connection of pin bones make to the ribs, so that way you can hit the side without losing any of that delicious lionfish meat. We're gonna slide down those rib bones, cut it off, and there we go. It's our beautiful lionfish filet. Couple of rib bones left in there, we're just gonna slide those out real quick. This membrane, totally edible, not cutting it out. A lot of people, get nervous about eating lionfish, but the meat is 100% safe to eat. It is only the spines that produce venom, and it does not get into the meat at all. There's honestly no way for it to get in the meat. The only way eating a lionfish filet can be dangerous for you is if you're not a very good cook. And there we go. All right, there's our lionfish filets. The skin is actually edible, and if you get it crispy, it's delicious. The meat on lionfish is light, mild, and flaky. They eat juvenile grouper and snapper, and if you like grouper and snapper, you're gonna like lionfish. Me, personally, when I cook them, I eat the skin. It's delicious when crispy, but if you wanna remove it, I'm not judging you one bit. The skin on lionfish is very delicate, so it's easy to cut through. So instead of having your knife angled down, have your knife nice and flat and just apply a little bit of pressure there we go. Gorgeous lionfish filet. Let's do the other one for you. I'm gonna start at a harder angle to get it in there, but then once it's in there, I'm just gonna get a good grip on that skin, push down with my knife as I move forward, and you'll get every last drop. This is still able to get crispy and eat as a potato chip or something. It's, it's genuinely, it's very good. There's still a couple of bones in these filets. They're called pin bones. You can feel them with your finger. They run down the middle. What you want to do is put tip of your knife in where the last pin bone is, slide forward, do it again, making a V shape, and then your pin bone line just pulls right out. And they're absolutely delicious. If you like the highly prized hogfish, this fish is going to be very similar, so you should try it. Lionfish are an invasive species that are wreaking havoc on our local ecosystems and it is a moral, ethical thing to do to kill as many as possible. And while you're at it, have some great meals. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a killer day.